Hello, dear role players. Tired of character AI's filters, slow responses, or just plain boring replies? Well, it finally happened. It's time to connect the world's most powerful deep seek model, R10528, to Agni. Agni has a built in thinking mode made specifically for advanced reasoning models like deep seek. But until now, it was broken. Not anymore. After days of testing, tweaking, and breaking my brain, I finally got it working. And now I'm bringing you the most powerful, unfiltered RP setup you can get on Agni. For those who don't know, Agni is a front-end roleplay platform that lets you connect custom models. No filters, no censorship, no restrictions, and full control over your LLM settings. Let's dive in. So, first, you need to head to the Agni site. Just type it into Google and click the first link. Once you're inside a chat, click on Log In. If you don't have an account yet, just press Sign Up and create one. Easy as that. Now, let's connect DeepSeek to Agni. Start by clicking the Presets button. Once you're there, press on New and name the preset whatever you want. Under Service, look to the right and click on Plus Provider then choose Shoots. Now, we need an API key from Shoots. Open a new tab, type in Shoots, and go to their site. Once you're there, press Create an Account, enter your username, and hit Create My Account. Shoots will give you a fingertip code. Copy that and save it somewhere safe. Then click on Continue to Shoots, and boom, you're in. Click on the API section, then Create API Key, Give it a name and hit Create. Easy. Now copy the full key, go back to Agni and paste it into the API key box. Below that, set the request format to open AI compatible chat and press Create Now. Very important. Press on the service box and make sure it says Provider Shoots. In the model field, type exactly DeepSeek AI slash DeepSeek R1-0528. Type it letter by letter. Don't miss anything or it won't work. For prompt format, choose ChatML. Set the response length to 2048 tokens. Don't worry, the replies won't be that long. We just need that much so the thinking mode doesn't break. Set context size to 34,000 and turn on use max if known. Set temperature to 0.8 or play with it later. Best range is usually between 0.7 and 0.9. Then set min p to 0.1. And make sure stream response is enabled. Now go to the prompt section and enable reasoning. For reasoning effort, choose what you like. I personally recommend 50%. That's the golden middle. Also, Make sure Exclude Reasoning Tokens is turned on. For the Start tag, type Think, and for the End tag, type Slash Think. Now scroll down a little and you'll see the System Prompt section. I've prepared a full system prompt in a public note. You'll find the link in the description and comments of this video. Just copy that link into your browser, open the notes, and copy everything from there. Then paste it directly into the System Prompt box. Once that's done, scroll down a bit more and flip the switch that says Override Character System Prompt to Owen and hit Save. And just like that, DeepSeek is now successfully connected to Agni. But wait, there's one more thing you'll definitely want to enable. Long-term memory. Now, technically you don't need it, since DeepSeek already has a massive context window but it helps keep everything extra clean and consistent during long role plays. Here's how to enable it. Click the settings icon and look for the option Enable Embeddings slash Long-Term Memory. Click the drop-down that says Disabled and choose one of the large models. You'll see two options, English for English-only role plays and Multilingual if you role play in other languages. Pick whichever suits you best, save it, and you're done. Now enter any chat you want. On the left side, press Preset, then click here and choose the preset you just created. Scroll through it 
double check that everything is in place, hit save, and finally, you're ready to start role playing. One quick tip before we wrap up. Sometimes DeepSeek might mix up the think section with the regular reply. If that happens, just hit regenerate and the next response will be clean and properly separated. Agni still has some bugs with this, but updates are coming soon. And that's it. Stay tuned for more tutorials, free LLM setups, and character AI alternatives. Make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you in the next video. And as always, happy role-playing.